Hello everyone, I'm Psychotic, and that's also my screen name. Now, I did some outside of recording idling again, so we've updated our gear for iron. Uh, we still need to kill some skeleton mages for the water orbs to finish off our chest piece, and some rat men in the dungeons to finish crafting the sword. But we're running the spear in the interim. The spear has a neat little fire mechanic, so that's kind of cool. But uh, we should be able to succeed in running the Halloween dungeons now uh, and potentially continue progressing towards the boss. So we're going to go ahead and give that a shot. We've got some new food growing and uh, we've got our gear ready to rock. So we're going to give the dungeons another try and go after whatever the hell the third boss is. <laughs> so uh, if you learn anything useful today or if you have a good time, please don't be afraid to drop a like. If you're feeling friendly, maybe go ahead and subscribe. But either way, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, here we are loaded in. System says hi. So we did add a place to make gunpowder here, and it's progressing quite nicely. We've got our square timber going, we've got our copper plates going, and over here we've got some fabric. The problem is we need uh, cloth scraps from monsters to make more fabric, so that's not really a, a constant craft. So our uh, iron is more or less full. Um, now, eight is definitely overkill on the iron. I did put up the flag that makes them cause more damage. You'll notice they're doing eights and nines as opposed to fours. And there are three of them chonking at it. Well, there's usually three of them chonking at it, but sometimes the one gets stuck. And there's usually two extra up here, sometimes three. Usually two, though. Um, it's just, it takes so much longer to chew through. It is what it is. Uh, as far as crafting, so we still need to upgrade this guy, which we need more of those fog clearing stones from those guys in the round spot. We need more scrolls from the dungeon to finish upgrading our boots, but they, these are an upgrade from our previous. And then our hat, we need more fabric to be able to upgrade that. Uh, as far as the chest piece goes, we need more fabric and some water blessings for that. We do have the fabric on hand for to craft it. And six extra. We just don't have enough water blessing stones. I think we only have like four or six. Six. Now, the bomb arrows I've considered crafting. Um, let's see if we come over here. Yeah, these guys. I've considered crafting for the extra attack because they're an attack of 12 as opposed to our current attack of... Well, I guess it's still 12. So they they go boom is the only real difference. So maybe maybe they're not as big of a an importance as I thought they were. But we're gonna go ahead and refresh our stockpile. We've got three new types of food, and we split up the um, farms here. So we are still growing some cabbage, and we've got some carrots, and now we have some pumpkins, and we have some rye. We really need more rye. So here we need rye and charcoal for bread. Uh, carrots and marbled meat, and then rye and pumpkin. So I guess we could technically scratch the cabbage for more rye, but we don't even have enough seeds for the fields that we have. So it is what it is. So we're just going to leave that be for now. Uh, and we've got two full stacks of those, so we're just going to go with it. So let's go ahead and head back to uh, Borderton and see what uh, kind of trouble we can get into in the Halloween area. Now we know that we have a dungeon right up here. So I figure that's probably a pretty solid spot to start. We don't need iron anymore, so if we see any iron nodes, we can just straight up ignore those. Now, uh, cabbage, we did need cabbage. So cabbage lets us craft the healing potions. Uh, it's cabbage and the jelly from the Treant guys. Now these skeletons drop the cloth that we need for fabric. Now, the spear required gunpowder to make, so it causes a burn effect, which is kind of cool. Doesn't do a lot of damage, but hey, every little bit helps. And now we have a lot more hit points, as you can see, and stamina. And we can kill things with a more reasonable amount of time. Now the spear, I was right in that, with these guys and their spin attack, the spear makes it much more manageable to deal with those uh, pumpkin heads. But let's go ahead and head into the dungeon and see what's up. Alright. Holy crap. So the rat men drop... 
old ornaments, which are required for the um, sword. Apparently, so does that three-handed terror, whatever the hell that was. Sharp arrows, hey? There are also 12. Oh, that's what we're using. Okay. So that's not really anything big. Oh, we got some skeleton mages in here. That's handy. Chauncey. Oh my! Okay, so he only hit for three, but that's where we get those blue magic stones for the enchanting table. So that's good to know, because we definitely want those. You were the one that poisoned me. Oh, okay. So the slam attack hits for 17. That's a bit bigger of a deal. I think we can handle this. I think I think we're doing okay. Laptop Orion. 1200 bits. It's got a bunch of stats. That's kind of cool. Ah, a bunch of blue magic stones. Excellent. Bug clearing magic stone and a Halloween seal, which was our big deal. So the seal we got right away, which is kind of cool. Maybe we'll be able to scan more than one out of the dungeon. I doubt it, but you never know. Weirder shit's happened. Now, we do have some health potions, so let's give one of those a shot. Wow. Okay. That helped. Oh, they have a five-minute cooldown? Wish I'd known that before I made so many. That's the downside to making all this crap without ever leaving town, as I didn't actually test any of it out first. old ornament okay so yeah we we found the finish room basically at the get-go that should be the whole building if my mental map uh is accurate which i mean even money all right well that's actually some solid loot for a dungeon i will take it and be happy all right i see a yellow light over there so let's see if we can't find another dungeon and we do need to mark that one as complete so that we don't try and do it again. Okay, let's go see what we can do with what we have, and we will be back. That ought to kick him into gear. We should be able now to craft this guy, the enchantment altar. And I really wanted to see what this did. So for a blue magic stone small and a blue magic stone medium for everything for everything but it doesn't say what it enchants to it so for now we just need to find some medium stones and then we'll have to revisit that so we do we have enough to make the halloween clothes i don't care for the red and white look uh it wouldn't be so bad if it didn't clash with what we currently have but it is what it is, so we're just going to go with it. So this is where the rubies and the emeralds and things come in. Oh, we actually needed the sword. So the sword starts at 36 and the spear starts at 34. So the original sword is not going to be as strong as the spear that we have now, because the spear that we have now is two star. But can we upgrade it? No, no, we cannot. So right now it's 41. Can we upgrade that? No, we cannot. Not quite. E yes and no. So I think once he gets done processing some of this, we will be able to upgrade that. 
And I know it's kind of hard to see when I'm in combat, but the reason sometimes I get hit for 17 and sometimes for 3 is there is a block. It's not very clear when he's doing it, because it doesn't look like he's actually blocking. But it does reduce damage. Go from 10 to 2. That dungeon was smaller and more coherent, though. It took much less time to clear. So we need to start heading towards the boss. And we can clear more area along the way. That looks like another portal. It is! There's our third dungeon. I didn't think we'd find it quite that quickly, but uh, you know what? We'll go with it. Yeah, yeah, you're a ghost. I get it. There's something a little buggy with their uh, companion healing. He's still getting bigger numbers, and I don't know why. Oh, shit. Yep. I saw us drop down to three and then realized that we were poisoned, so that wasn't going to end well. There we go. Sword is fully upgraded. So the sword has 46. This has 44. But we have fire on our spear. So let's see what the sword does that is special. I don't know that we're going to be able to find out on the wolves. I think we are going to have to take the portal. So nothing. It looks like it just deals a little bit of extra damage. I don't know that four extra points of damage is going to be worth losing that burn effect, because that burn effect ticks for eight a pop. And that's whether we're continuously hitting or not. Oh, we lost that loot. Oh, maybe not. Looks like it floats now. That's nice. Yeah, I, I actually feel like the spear is better. Oh, we might have some more rye here, though. I believe we got it out of a graveyard. The first poisonous plant that we've seen. Very similar to the fire plants in the second tier dungeon. Basically a long ways. We're, we're about to the halfway point. That is a one-star bowl, and I want none of that. Here's hoping that it's not like straight up a cliff face or anything. Uh, shit. Oh, uh, so yeah, we should have crossed the water back there. It was the thing we should have done. I don't think we're going to make it. Nope. We were just shy of the shore. Well, that sucked. Oh, that's how close we were to the shore. Look at that. Like two more strokes and we'd have been fine. I know it's a little out of the way, but I want to trigger this. Everything and its brother over here deals poison. about the iron. We have plenty of iron. I do, however, still care about the rye seeds. Because we have a lot of stuff that requires rye seeds. So let's put our portal down here. We're going to call it Halloween Boss. We're going to connect it to Borderton 2. There we go. So now if things go belly up, we have a much, much faster way back. What are you? Oh, the Abyssal Warriors. Okay. Okay, yeah, this one does look different than the other one. The other one had a house, but it didn't have this weird uh, gondola thing going on.
Okay, I wonder if that overhead jump attack thing is only a crit on the uh, skeleton style stuff because it's a bash attack or something weird like that. Because it doesn't seem to do the same thing to everybody. Okay, now this looks more like what the other one did. All right. All right, all right. This is a very small arena. It's actually smaller than the one that we fought the big uh, orc in. That makes me a little nervous. I feel like we don't have a terrible lot of room to maneuver. And that is not good. We're also low on arrows. Skeleton King. Leork? Oh, you really did not leave me anywhere to run here, guys. Does that mean... Oh, that's not good. Yes! We can critical him. And we can light him on fire. Okay, 50 on a block. Oh. Okay, that wasn't good. That was real not good. Pass. This guy's actually not good to range, it looks like. Not just for uh, damage reasons, but... Summon. Hmm. Yep, that's going to be a problem. It'll be a big problem. for taking the heat, Chauncey. I really need a chance to heal again, but we got three minutes left. least keep his health bar lower than ours. And keep him on fire. So Chauncey's not doing great. We might finally lose Chauncey this fight. Hmm. Yep, there he went.
Well, if you want to get stuck in a loop, buddy, I will. I will take it. Gotcha. Holy laptops. Halloween data. Excellent. Alright, so how long before Chauncey comes back? How does that work? So that is the first time we have actually lost our little buddy. Oh, I see. In the bottom right there. So it looks like it's a two minute timer when he goes down. So we have a minute 20 left. So we got one scroll. Wow, we basically got junk from that guy. That's disappointing. But we can fully upgrade the world now. I would like to figure out how to get the medium stones, though. So I don't think we ever did figure that out. So let's see what we can unlock world-wise, because it looks like the battle simulator says that we can fight uh, strong enemies by using items made with the handiwork table. So I'm wondering if we can use one of those to potentially get the tier 2 enchantment stuff. Okay, and it looks like we need 35,000. I don't know. Oh, handiwork table. Oh. Okay. Well, I'm not entirely sure what this is or what it does, so we're just going to slap it in here for now, and we can always move it later. Aha! There's our medium stones. So it's an iron ingot and regular stones. Um, in a battle simulator, I'm gonna guess that's tier one boss. Golem, probably. Tier two boss, probably. That says rock, and that says wilderness. It says horn, so I'm guessing bull. And then that says forest. Crest of tyranny. Bang of the god of war. Bedrock core. Ancient branch. Spore and plank. Spore and plank's easy to get. So we can craft... Okay, so how many of those mediums do we need to enchant something? One. And it was ten of the regular? Alright. One regular. And we have thirty regular. So we could essentially make fifteen of these guys. And that would give us half and half, and we could enchant 15 pieces of gear. Let's enchant our bow. Oh! Plus six hit points. Is that only when equipped? Yep, that is only when equipped. Can we enchant it more than once, maybe? I don't know. It says two to four and two to four, so it looks like we can reroll enchantments. Hopefully they're not all hit points, because that's kind of weird. All right. Well, all in all, I would say that we were extraordinarily successful here. So we got, uh, yeah, we got pretty, pretty much everything in the current game, with the exception of some enchantments, which is there really a reason to enchant our stuff, since there's not really anything more difficult to fight at the moment. All right, so there we have it. Uh, spear, actually better than the sword in the end tier, even though it's, uh, slightly less overall damage that damage over time actually makes it stronger so that's kind of cool we got the enchantments unlocked that's kind of cool got our potions going got a little bit of everything going so yeah that's uh 
that's currently more or less the end of the game at the moment because the Halloween level is the last level. Uh, you can tell because there's nothing else going on here. So we will uh, we'll probably revisit this game when they drop some more stuff off. But uh, for now, I think that is a good spot to start exploring some other things again. So if you guys learned anything useful today or if you had a good time, please don't be afraid to drop a like. If you're feeling friendly, maybe go ahead and subscribe. But either way, have a fantastic rest of your day and we will catch you next time. Thanks for watching.